In a quarter mile, merge onto I-285 South. Come on, Kaze! with Koss if you're back. <laughs> so in this project I'm going to be using uh, these flower and garden planners that have been around at the Dollar Tree for a while. I've actually uh, used this, well use one of these in one of my previous projects uh, that I will link here. But for this particular project, I'm going to be using them uh, two different ways, one way in the kitchen and then one way in the bathroom. So if you want to see how I uh, achieved these Dollar Tree DIY planners, uh, let's go over the materials and let's go ahead and let's get right started. So I started off the project by spray painting one of the planners rose gold and the other one black. I started by giving the soap a more luxurious feel by using the transfer paper liner from the dollar store and basically wrap it to look like some of the soap that you can get from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and other like home decor stores. And then I used the printed paper to wrap around the white spray painted planner that I did from outside. And I used a paper cutting knife to basically fill for the edges of the planner so I could do some clean cuts. And then I overlapped the other paper over the previous paper that I lined and I used an old credit card to kind of smooth over the paper around the planter. And then I added some letters. And so for the next DIY planner, I use these puffed up ABC letters. Starting this project after I've already used some rose gold spray paint on the planter as well as the letters. And I'm just adhering the letters on the face of the actual planter. I decided to spray paint the nozzles of the glass jars rose gold as well. Comment down below let me know which planner you're feeling the most 
and stick around and check out these other affordable DIYs on a budget.